Justin Biver wasn't exactly a party animal. He was more of a stay at home and play video games kind of dude. But tonight was different. Tonight he was going to Diddy's party. The party was already thumping when Justin arrived. Music blasted from giant speakers. People danced like crazy, bumping into each other. It was total chaos. Justin felt a little overwhelmed. He weaseled his way through the crowd, hoping to find a familiar face. Maybe someone from school? He wasn't sure he belonged here. This was way more intense than a middle school dance. Suddenly, someone clapped him on the back. Justin turned around and almost choked. It was Diddy himself. Diddy, the music mogul in a shiny tracksuit, holding two red plastic cups. Yo, little man, welcome to the party, Diddy boomed, his gold chains clinking. He shoved one of the cups into Justin's hand. Try this, special concoction. The drink smelled weird, like bananas and cough syrup. Justin hesitated, but hey, when Diddy offers you a drink, you drink it, right? Justin took a big gulp. It tasted even weirder than it smelled. He scrunched up his face. Diddy just laughed and patted him on the head. That's the good stuff, kid, he shouted over the music, disappearing back into the crowd. The next thing Justin knew, he was waking up on a cold, hard floor. His head felt like it was stuffed with cotton balls. He was in a dimly lit basement, surrounded by babies. Yes, babies, lots of them, crawling all over the place. And men, men holding babies, men feeding babies, men changing diapers. It was like some kind of bizarre daycare. And the smell, it was overpowering, a mix of baby powder, mayonnaise, yes, mayonnaise, and something that smelled suspiciously like baby oil. What in the world had happened last night, and where was Diddy? Turns out, Diddy's special concoction wasn't just weird tasting, it was some kind of illegal baby-fied potion. The government got involved. The FBI raided the party. It was all over the news. Eminem and Kendrick Lamar even made a diss track about it, calling it the Mayonnaise Massacre. It was hilarious and embarrassing all at the same time. Justin's parents were not thrilled. Grounded for Life didn't even begin to cover it. But hey, at least he had a story to tell, even if it did involve babies, mayonnaise, and the FBI.